Hello all, welcome to IQPOP. So in this lecture we will discuss type conversion in C. So type conversion at the time of evaluation of expression in C code, the compiler needs to that all the variable constraints are used in the expression should be in uniform data type. But all the time by the programmer or coder, it is not possible to declare all the um, variables in uniform data type. Now, uh, for uh, solving this problem, C supports type conversion. So there is two kind of type conversion. One is implicit type co conversion, what is uh, done by the compiler at the time of evaluation of the code. Another type of conversion is there that is called explicit conversion which is which is done by the user also known as typecasting. So for type conversion the basic logic is that if you are moving from one data type to another data type or converting from one data type to another data type if the destination data type is having a larger memory space then you are not going to lose any data but if it happens that the destination data type have smaller memory, memory space than the original data then you are going to lose some um, uh, data or bits which will change your value so here uh, automatically C supports these conversions listed here int which is 32 bit to unsigned int which is 32 bit to long which is 32 bit again to unsigned long which is 32 bit to long long which is 63 bit again long long to unsigned long long which is 64 bit so up to this there is no question of changing a value now if you are converting from unsigned long to float then also it is going to be done automatically float to double because double is 64 bit no issue it will be done automatically and double to long double long double is also 64 bit it it will mm, capable to store double so there will be no loss of data so we will take uh, Mm. I have C program to check this thing hash include stdio dot edge main pen and close and return zero now say first I'm taking let's start with care care say um, sage is the variable name and I'm initializing it also with say small a I should semicolon now print sorry print app um, let display the value of sage which is percent C keep a new line here okay. and CH no problem up to this we can do it now we'll convert say we are declaring another variable that is a int say x now instead of int x equal to now x I'm going to initialize with ch that means I'm going to store a character in int is integer right so I'm displaying it here okay so compile it 
So you can see there is no error but one warning written type defines to int. So it is due to this right this line. Okay. Run it. So due to this line this print tape it is printing A and due to this print tape it is printing 97. So what exactly happened here? CH holds small a and small a ASCII code of small a is 97 and the binary string the binary number corresponding to 97 is stored in sage now when I am doing this x equal to sage this binary string is copied to x alright now so x got a binary string so x doesn't know whether that string is character or integer or anything else x got a binary string and when uh, we are displaying it that binary string is converted to integer and displayed here alright close now say we'll try for float float okay say sum okay now c equal x equal to we have already said no problem so we are doing sum equal to x plus 34 all right now print the value of sum okay run it so there is no error oh, only one warning computer science engineer never minds about warning now yeah what happened so int x was 97 we have added 34 with it result is 131 and that is converted to float and due to that these decimal places are added to the number okay now we know that sum is a floating point number and it is holding some floating point value now what will happen if we store this sum to some integer let's see say take here why sorry why and that is a say int y equal to sum and we are going to display the value of y here all right compile no error run it see here the sum was floating point number here it is converted to integer so it lost is uh, lost its uh, decimal places so it lo losing his, its uh, data right some bits it, it has losing okay so now do another thing we have some we have uh, x and y right now say we are doing float sorry say z now you want to do z equal to say sum divided by hmm, any number say 8 alright now this is a floating point number z so we will display it like this percent f and z here right compile it we don't have any error run it it is giving 
16 point some number. Now do one thing. What we have done here sum, but instead of using sum here, because sum is already float, we will use uh, integer here. So what integer we are having? Y is integer, right? So use here y. Y by 8. So y is integer divided by another integer 8, right? And z is float here. Now compile. Okay. No problem. Run it. We got 16 point some number. Now question is that if I keep my old code, it is not going to be round figure 16. The result is not going to be round figure 16, right? So previously what was there? Z equal to sum by 8. Okay. So yes, when we are doing z equal to sum by 8, it is giving 16.375000. When we are doing z equal to y by 8, it is giving 16 point all zeros. So this data is missing here. Why? Let's go to the code here. What is the difference between this and this? Only difference is that here the sum is floating point number at this y is integer both of them are integer right that one is integer one is float so here how to solve it say we don't have sum right so we have y as a integer 8 as an integer now we want to calculate z because we are dividing it so there is a uh, probability that the result will be float so we need or we want to take the Mm, correct floating point number in Z. So how to get that in this situation? The so solution is this. Just write float here. It will convert this integer Y to float first then it will uh, evaluate it and it will give the same effect like this. So compile it. Run it. Now you see All right. Okay. So this is the way of type called type casting. What I have shown, shown in the last line. Okay. So data type then expression. So it will convert this expression to the data type what we have written here. So here is the chart of, uh, the, of conversion between different data types. So in diagonally you can see that is compatible types definitely it will be there because it's a matrix and you can see sometimes say here unsigned care to signed care. So what will happen? Unsigned care means 8 bit, signed care means 7 bit. So value changing, it will change the value. So in this way whenever you will find um, there is a, um, there is uh, where we are trying to store any data type which is having higher size to any large data, data type, uh, sorry, lower size data type, there is a value change, right? But uh, when we are doing, say, some data type with higher size, trying to, sorry, lower size, okay, trying to store in higher data type or higher size of data type then value is going to be preserved, right? And sometimes uh, when say int and unsigned int. So int is 31 bit, unsigned int, int is 32 bit. So it will store this 31 bit and 32 bit, no problem, right? So but value will change, reason is that the first bit mm, here will be treated as the sign bit mainly will be treated as part of number so there is a high chance that the number may be um, may become double of the original number it may, it may change in other ways also okay so thank you for watching
like comment and share and subscribe uh, stay with me uh, for more lectures on c and all other interesting topics